Instead, he works his way back free. Granlin, fire score! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother, Howie. Howdy, howdy. Here for episode number 16. Here to bring you BS and just a standing. <laughs> How you been this week, Kelly? It's the uh, uh, last show before Christmas. Yes, and it is. It's, uh, no, just been working because I've been working, uh, well, this week I'm working seven days. Well, no, actually, I started the 10th, and I won't have a night off from my night job now until the we're from last Wednesday until the first. I'm working every day, my night job. Wow. But other than that, um, I'm looking forward to Christmas Day because uh, my fasting ends, so I can start eating meat again. Yeah. Yeah. So to celebrate that, I'm going all in on making steak tartare. Yeah. Sounds good. I see you have uh, the gift I sent you right over your shoulder there. Yeah. Here. You're going to love it. I, my guess is this is Mr. Microphone. Is that your guess? That's going to be my guess. Mr. Microphone. And yeah, I would use that every day. <laughs> on my way, on my uh, commute to work. Uh-huh. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> And maybe that line will get me a wife. I don't know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, or a, uh, it'll get me either a wife or a uh, restraining word. Right. <laughs> or just a butt kicking, a good butt kicking. No. What's that? Oh, yeah, a really good butt kicking. Yeah. yeah. One, one of them. Three. Yeah. Well, not, not much is going on on this side. We're just, you know, preparing for Santa. That's about it. So, other than that, you have any hockey news today, Howie? Uh, the only hockey news I have, which I'm very excited about, yeah. which I just read probably within the last uh, hour or so, which I found out about. Yeah. Um, today. Yeah. I am looking forward to which the game starts at uh, four o'clock central time. Yeah. The Boston Carolina game. Oh. Carolina is bringing back and will be wearing the old green Hartford Whaler uniforms. Yeah, it's it's Whaler Day or something like that. Whaler Day. And the the one of the, the other good part about it and I I hope I like Boston, but I hope Carolina for this game goes. I hope it's a completely lopsided game, and Carolina just rips goals left and right. Because not only are they bringing back the Hartford Whaler uniforms, yeah, 
their goal song for every goal they get will be the Brass Bonanza. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. So they they went yeah. all out. They're doing Whale yeah. of the Day. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. So I was happy to see that. So I'm I'm hoping Carolina plays really well. Hmm. And then again, I guess uh, they're going to be visiting Boston March 5th, I believe. And that night also they will be wearing a Whaler uniform. Right. Now that's at uh, 5 Eastern? Yeah, that'll be 5 Eastern tonight. So, yeah, cool. So, yeah, so I'm going to bypass my nap so I can watch that game. Yeah, that'll be worth it. Yes, it will. So, yeah, yeah, I I look forward to that. I I hope it's a uh, Hartford Whaler onslaught. Yeah, that'll be cool. It'll just be cool to see those uniforms on the ice. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So. Yeah. Uh, anything uh, else? Anything? Uh, um, other than mm-hmm. uh, right now, the Wild suck. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you're in a lot better place than I am right now. Although oh. the, the Kings did win the other night against uh, last night against the Sharks in overtime. Yeah, this, yeah Minnesota's just playing just hor- horrid, yeah. horrid. So, horrid. I, I'm at this point even questioning if they'll even make the playoffs. What? Oh, well, we'll yeah, talk about it. we'll I, talk about it when I, we get over into I the standing. Think- Losing all faith at this point. Oh, Howie, no, no, no. We're just now, just now, approaching I mean, the granted, midway point of the season. I don't, granted, we're not at the, the, the all-star break point. But this is the thing I you have to keep in mind, though, too, because statistically, normally, the teams that end up falling in playoff spots come the all-star break. Yeah, generally get in. They may uh, not be where they set, but they generally get in. And that's my only fear right now, because even right now, I mean, granted, we're only I think it's uh, either two or three points out of a wild card spot. Spot, but the way they're playing right now, I just I don't know. I don't know that division think, is so wild, though, Howie. That division is so crazy. Yeah, I know, but I mean, well, it's not just that division, though. Now, now you got the Pacific, which is just as competitive, and it's just kind of it's it's a lot harder. It's much harder now. Oh, well, I, I agree. Um, I might just drop hockey altogether and just stay with World Team Tennis. <laughs> 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 I'm going to collect be, all the team headbands. <laughs> I'll be the world team tennis number one fan because there you go. I'll be, only because I'll be the only fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have all the team headbands. I'll get all, all the Balbo heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um. All right, let's get into the standings here, Harry. Huh? And uh, starting in the East as usual, in the Atlantic Division. Uh, we got Tampa Bay on top, and we're uh, most of the teams we're right at that thirty-seven game mark, so we're almost halfway through here. Uh, leading that division is uh, Tampa Bay with uh, fifty-eight points. Followed by Toronto with 50. Uh, They are followed by Buffalo with 47. Buffalo is just amazing. You know, Buffalo, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how Buffalo has been playing this year. It's so nice to see them back in the thick of things. Yeah. And, and, they are ahead I mean, of. I want to see them now bring back the Saber Dance song for their goals. Oh yeah, that would be fantastic. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Uh, uh, Buffalo Bo- is followed by Boston with forty-four points, so they're back by three. They are followed uh, by Montreal. Uh, with 43 points, Detroit with 35, 
Florida with 34, and Ottawa with 34. Ottawa. Mon- yeah, Mon- Montreal for, I don't know, well, even last year. I mean, they're just, I, I can't figure them out only because you look at them on paper and they should be so much better than what they are at, the playing level that they're at. And oh, I yeah. can't figure yeah, out what it is that needs to be tweaked. Well, or what? It could just be a. Uh, I mean, to me, Montreal should be one of those top three teams. Uh, but look at the rest of that division, though, Howie. Oh, I know. I, I mean, I, I know. I mean, to me, Montreal. If you look at them on paper, I mean, granted, Tampa Bay. I mean, same thing. If you look at all those teams on paper, I mean, they're all up there. But Montreal, I, I just, I don't get it. I mm-hmm. this, I don't get. It. They should be in there at at a much tighter position than where they're at now. Yeah. And uh, Buffalo is playing out pretty much how I thought they would at the beginning of the season when I was kind of going through their roster and going, "These guys are going to be good." <clears throat> and uh, they are. They are. I really like what I'm seeing there. <clears throat> In the uh, um, going over to the Metropolitan, uh, up on top right now, who's uh, still surging right now, Washington's up on top with 47 points. They are followed by Columbus with 45 points. And Columbus, you don't really hear much about them, I, and I don't know why. Because, I mean, they are a very good team. They're a very strong team, but you just don't hear anything about them. Yeah, and they've won their last four. I mean, they're playing yeah, yeah. really good I, hockey right now. And I don't, and I, and I don't, I don't get that. But uh, they're trailed by Pittsburgh with forty-two points, sitting in third place. Yeah. Uh, then fourth place, you have the Islanders with thirty-eight points, who are still pretty much in the thick of things, only yeah. four points yeah. back of Pittsburgh. They're trailed by the Rangers, who are staying out of the cellar, surprisingly, uh, with 35 points. But I think last year was a fluke for them, too. But I don't know. But I'd rather see them in the cellar. Uh, they're followed by the Hartford Whalers with 33 <laughs> points. This being, well, it's Whalers, it's Whalers Day. So yeah, Whalers we'll Day. we got to say the Whalers. Right. Yeah, so they'll be Hartford for the day. Yeah. So Hartford sitting in six with 33 points. They are trailed by Philadelphia with 32 and bringing up the rear New Jersey with 31 points. Yeah. New Jersey is another team which I don't get because, I mean, there there's a team too. I mean, they should be better than what they are, but it's like, I don't know what's going on there. Well, just, New Jersey has struggled for a few years now. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's like they got, they got good players. I just don't think yeah. that that chemistry is there to mesh. I, yeah. I don't know what it is. I, mean, I don't it's, know. It's but they did bring back their original some... unis uh, the other night. Oh, did they? Yeah, they sure did. <clears throat> Which was cool to see. But I still like what Caroline is doing. Because unlike yeah. any other, instead of doing a third jersey or some something like that, they're actually reaching into their past. Right. Granted, Colorado's kind kind of done that, but they tweaked it. It's not a true Rockies uniform, right? But they took the concept of it, right? I mean, I'd rather see. I, I would love to see the Avalanche bring in the original Rocky uniform and do, and do that. Oh yeah, for a night. Yeah, yeah. That I would love. Yeah. And play against a team. That has it's like a, the original Kings, you know, golden purple and Colorado's yeah. blue and yeah. Wouldn't that be a great game to see? I would love to see that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, where are we? We're all going over the West and the Central. On uh, topping the Central is Winnipeg with fifty points. Um, Nashville with forty six. Followed by Colorado, who's just really surprising to me for some reason. I, I know they aren't to you, but they still are to me. <clears throat> uh, they are followed by Dallas with 39. Uh, Minnesota with 37. Oh, there they are. 
But they're not that far out, Howie. They're not that far out. To of, me, they might as well just be in the cellar. They're 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 done. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because now Dumb, Dumba Dumba's out for an indefinite amount of time. They don't know when he's coming back. Mm. They're gonna have they're gonna have to make some moves here. They're gonna have to make some trades or something. But they're mm. just they're just I don't know. Maybe fine players. I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't. I. It's just still too early to worry about them right now, Howie. That's what I think. They are followed by with by St. Louis with thirty two and Chicago with thirty two. Um. Yeah, but in my book right now, Minnesota should be 35-0-0. Or 35-0-0. Oh, no yeah, no. I mean, they still have a, uh, a strong home record. You know, they're over 500. You cannot complain about that. And they're I will complain about that because they should be well over, well <laughs> over 500 right now. I think you're they're I I think you're worrying too soon and we're not even halfway through yet. We're not I even, I could I, I could I could confidently say right now they suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They they are not playing to what my expectations are. Oh, wow. Well yeah, well we we could talk about that all day when we get to this next division. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh jumping over to the Pacific on top there you have Calgary of forty seven points. Calgary is amazing. They are. They are. But I'm I'm I, I like seeing them up there though. Not where I don't uh, they're I huh? I don't. I don't like <laughs> seeing them where they're at right now. Um they are followed by San Jose with forty four points. Yeah. Uh, they are trailed third place sitting in third place right now. You got Vegas with 43 points. Yeah. Anaheim also tied with third, but in fourth, no. with also with 43 points. Uh, they are trailed by Edmonton sitting in fifth with 39 points. Vancouver, I'm surprised they're actually sitting where they are at sixth place with 38 points. They are trailed by uh, Houston yeah. with 32 points. And then your Los Angeles Kings sitting in the basement at eighth, 29 points. 29 points. 29 points. <sighs> I, 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 there's nothing you can say. I'm not even going to say anything. I would, I would probably say at, at this point, for your sake, yeah. get used to seeing this for the next probably three, four years. <laughs> no, no, no. Because they're gonna have they're gonna have to clean house. I mean, everyone on there they're ready to, for senior assistant living. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, granted, they're all younger than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do have they. I'd like to see them do something before the trade deadline and try to get some youth onto the team. I'll I'll be really surprised if they make I mean uh, I'm sure they'll make some moves but I would be surprised if they make any major moves. But what what could which, be a major which, move to them they, right now? What would be a major move to them? They can get rid of anybody. It's not going to be a major move. A major uh, move if, will will be get somebody new and young. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm looking. I'm thinking of for for me for the Kings to do a major move would be getting dumping like say Drew Doughty or they're or, not getting rid of Drew Doughty. He is the face of the team. <laughs> <laughs> he is the he's uh, what puts maybe, maybe even 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 maybe dumping. Quick for another goaltender. I mean, who who knows? You you take one of those main faces and you put them out there on the trade block and dump them. That's gonna be a major move. 
Well, they're not going to get Drew Doughty. They're getting, uh, he is what puts butts in the seat. So I, I don't know. And I, I thought know, that he just renewed. So I, you know, I think he signed for another 50 years. I don't know. <laughs> and he'll probably, as long as they could put some skates on him and roll him around out, in the, you know, he'll still be. <laughs> he'll be wearing, by the end of his career, he'll be wearing those double bladed yeah. <laughs> skates, <laughs> training blades. <laughs> on a chair. <laughs> I know, but yeah, the, I think the, the Kings need to do something huge. Yeah, I mean, but they've they won their last two, wins. huh? Yeah, but that only thirteen wins at this point—that's yeah. sad. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, not good. So right, let's now let's back. let's compare them to your Minnesota Wild. You may as well win this, carry the cup right now today. No. Why only have 17 wins? We only have four more wins than the Kings. Wow. BFD. <laughs> That's eight points. That's eight points. It, 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 it's crap. <laughs> it's crap. Well. Howie, we're going to wrap, wrap it up here. Because, uh, you know. Because we have to. All right. All right. Do you have anything else to add before we go? Um, root for the Whalers tonight. Yeah, Whalers Day. Whalers Day. Thank you all for listening and watching the podcast. Go out to www.puckdropshere.com and check out our past and present podcasts there. Give us a like on Facebook or on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Send us an email at John and Howie, the com. Until next time, that be next week. There we go. <laughs> uh, we wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Have a safe holiday. We we'll see you next time. Oh, we did you all. I do. Fuck off.